Many of those injured after assailants armed with bows and arrows attacked residents of Apa in Amuru district last week continued to nurse their wounds at St. Mary's Hospital, Lacho. The former Forum for Democratic Change president, Kiza Besije, while weighing in on the conflict, called for a commission of inquiry. Because of the suspicious nature of the role of the state in all of them, I think it further focuses the country on the need for an independent inquiry into these matters. The land row in APA has escalated in recent years, leading to several deaths and displacement. It has not only sucked in the Acholi and Madi communities, but also the government, Uganda Wildlife Authority, local politicians and cultural leaders, as well as a South African investor who leased the land to start a sport hunting business. Besige, who is also the former presidential candidate in the 2016 polls, alleges the conflict has links to the outcome of the election. Because you know, Kasese, we are the government. Officially, the local government is FDC, NRM is in the opposition. In Amuru, we are also the government. NRM is in the opposition. While appearing on Newsnight on Wednesday, the Minister for Lands, Betty Amongi, while dismissing claims that a government demarcation exercise of APA reignited the conflict, blames politicians. When we do our work, we do it professionally, based on the maps that were drawn by colonial boundaries. The problem and the challenge we always have is that communities and many, many instances Politicians decide to reject the boundaries and incite the community. Both cultural leaders of the Acholi and Madi, who met with the Prime Minister and other government officials as part of efforts to defuse tensions early this week, have called for dialogue to resolve the APA question. I uh, should use the law to get these people, uh, you know, pinned down. No. And what still, if these are people who are public leaders, then I think. Uh, what they should do is they should help themselves by resigning from public offices. The conflict over power land started after game rangers from the Uganda Wildlife Authority were reported to have burnt down 170 huts in 2010, a move interpreted as an attempt to force locals out of the said East Madi Game Reserve. A Jumani district local government gazetted the game reserve which in turn reignited the question of whether a power which had previously been managed by a Muru district local government now fell under the jurisdiction of Adjumani. Meanwhile, Besige also says the UN summit on refugees convening in the country next week should also discuss the role of Uganda in the internal politics of other countries. We are very active in the Sudan precipitating the problem that is driving away Sudanese into Uganda. The international community must be very clear in how they deal with the Ugandan regime. Uganda currently hosts more than one million refugees from South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Burundi. Up to 900,000 refugees are from South Sudan. Most of them fled after renewed violence in Juba last year. 270,000 of them are being hosted in what is considered to be the largest refugee camp in the world, Bidibidi, in the West Nile district of Yumbe.